All right. So a while ago, I was um, I introduced the idea of doing something I'm calling the Gator Project. Well, let's see. There we go. Uh, the Gator Project, and that's where I share my images with you, and you can have a face mask or a gator printed up yourself. Uh, I was going to have these printed up. But for me to make any money off of these, to do this and make money, I would have to charge people $30, $35. I originally thought $25, but with the postage that I have to have when they're, I have to pay when they're sent to me, and then the postage when I send it to you, it's just going to become ridiculously expensive. So I was calling it the Gator Project. You tell me what images you like, I share them with you. And I give you written permission to have gators printed up or masks printed up. You cannot, cannot, cannot resell. Um, I've been through copyright infringement before and I won't allow it, but I'm, I am offering to give you images Let's, to help keep each other safe in the, in the name of community or in the feeling of community and sharing. Um, I'm willing to share images. Yes, Kitty. Kitty wants to go out and brush. It's not going to happen. Kitty, tiger, stop. That's enough. Yeah, I know. It's just Tiger, Tiger, uh, Tiger Jack is his real name. Tiger Jack or Tiger Snacks, as I call him, and me. So he's staying close by, except he wants to go out in the garage, and I can't have that because never mind. Anyway, cat, no. So. That's the Gator Project. If you've seen an image of mine that you like and you want to use it to have your own gator printed up or gators to give as gifts or masks to give as gifts, let me know. And, um, and I'll get them to you with written permission to have them done. Uh, people at signs.com know that I'm doing this and they've told me what I need to provide you with and they'll take care of it. This runs, if you do it yourself, this runs little under $22 with shipping to get one. Two, the price comes down a little bit um, for each one, but then there's the shipping on top of it. There was something else I was going to tell you. I can't remember. Anyway, we're going to do one of those unboxing things, which I think are silly, but people love them. And I'm excited, and I want to share my excitement with you. I've got Yeyu Kusama printed up. The colors are perfect. And I can't begin to tell you how hard it is to get my colors printed. It's so difficult. It's a lot of back and forth. It's extremely difficult. This showed up. It was spot on. So I decided to go to signs.com and have, I think it was Frida and Lil Ginko printed up. I don't know what they're going to look like. I have no clue. But it, so I'm doing this with you. It just showed up a little while ago. Okay. We'll see how the colors are and how, how they did. Because I really, I really don't know. Oh, it's Frida. For signs.com, I had to cover Frida's cookies because they don't print nudity. And apparently she's considered nudie duty. Oh, I was gonna say, welcome to my living room and my very impressive professional unboxing area, my ironing board. Behind me is the computer, that's where I do all my work. And right now I've got my Patreon page up because I had to look at something. But right now we're gonna take a peek at Frida. Okay, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, because I've got a lot of people who liked the Frida image and they wanted to get this done. Holy, oh, whoop! There's a little ginkgo. I don't want to unwrap them both at the same time. <gasps> There's Frida. She's missing the top of her head. She's missing the top of her head, but that's, that is not bad. The colors are just right. Ready? This is the way it wraps around. It's like a balaclava. And I chose that particular, particular teal. If you go to signs.com, you can um, actually play with the image and you can play with the colors that are going to go down the back where the image ends or wherever the image ends. And I'm going to come into the camera. 
I chose this particular teal, like it's a really light teal, to go with her face. Now her face is a little bit higher than I thought it would be, but I'm going to try it on. With Yeyu Kusama, I kind of fold it a little bit to maneuver her face down so you can see it, so I don't just have like red hair here. This looks a little bit smaller. Nope, same size. Here we go. Okay. You're getting a look at this while I, at the same time I am. There's Frida. So I might want to fold it down just a little bit. I'm not sure. Yeah, you have to play with them because they are faces. But there's Frida. I can't really see it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, like everything at Studio 120, it's trial and error. But there's Frida. I did have, like I said, I did have to cover her cookies. That gives you an idea, anyway, of what she'll look like. I did have to cover her cookies. And so I picked out colors I thought would work. Um, I could have put in different shapes other than um, squares, I think. But I kind of like them. The, the cookie co covers, or little nipple covers, are, are subtle. Okay, there's one. Now we're going to take a look at Lil Genko and see how she came out. Oh, the colors are right. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, I remember. I had to, um, yeah, they had to cut off the top of her head. Not the top of her head, but the top of her headdress. But the colors are correct. In the original painting, and it says Little Genko down below, too. That's nice. Little Genko, 1927. They fit everything in perfectly. Look at that. That's perfect. Obviously, people won't be seeing the entire thing, but you can also fold this. So if you don't want, like, Frida's creepy face, or I shouldn't say that, Frida's face um, being so prominent, you can fold it down. And the colors are good. They tend to work with the colors that I use. They tend to work with any skin color. Covering the mouth and nose. There's little ginkgo. I can't see it at all. Sorry. Blind as a bat. Yeah, you can play with this. You can fold it different ways. So you can really show off her face. I haven't, obviously I haven't had time to like do this smoothly, to play with it and do this smoothly. But yeah, there she is. There's her little tattoo. So with this again, you can always fold it and play with it. So those are th the three most popular images I have printed on Wow, on gaiters, I'm sure you'll be better at, tr at putting them on than me. Let me show you uh, Yu Kusama again. I used like a burnt orange in her background. And let me show you how I wear her. Not really like this, because it's hard to see. I tend to wear her down like that. Like I said, any skin tone. I'm pretty much as white as you can possibly get, and it works with me. It works with my skin tone, but I've seen people with other skin tones, and because there's so much color, it tends to, to um, my colors tend to um, work. I don't know how to put it. I'm very warm. But they bring out tones and colors that you don't necessarily see right away. 
uh, something like that, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, there's the unboxing for three, three gators. I will give you the images. I will give you the written permission that you will need to go to signs.com and have gators printed up. They also do masks. They have a variety of products you can have printed up. Let me show you the, the logo for them. There it is. Science.com. I am super duper happy with these. Super happy. So, really, really happy with the way they came out. Anyway, there you go. There's our little unboxing on my very professional ironing board and living room area. And yes, I cleaned up before I turned on the camera, otherwise you would have seen mess. All right, that's it. Ciao. Oh, meow, meow, meow. Ciao. <laughs> Signs.com.